Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to use a Wesson Boy to embed Game Boy games inside of your React apps. And even though this doesn't seem as useful right now, it can really show you what WebAssembly modules can do for you in like ways that JavaScript just can't really do right now. So let's get started. Okay, now that we're in VS Code, we can actually get started right away by opening a terminal and running npm install Wesson Boy, which basically is the Game Boy emulator that was written in WebAssembly or compiled to WebAssembly that we can use using a JavaScript interface. So now let's import this JavaScript interface. So this is a little singleton which we are going to interact with to basically start the Game Boy game and render it somehow. And now that we're already getting to rendering, this will take place in a canvas. And I would personally like to style the canvas so that it's also visible when um, the game isn't loaded yet. So we're going to start off with that. So I gave it the class name of .gb and we're just going to say, okay, if no game is rendered, then it's going to have a width of 300px, a height of 300px, and a background color of gray, just so it's at least visible if uh, nothing is happening yet. Also, we can close this little console window right here. And now we, of course, also need a way to start the game because auto-starting it won't actually work all that well except if you um, are fine with like, like some errors in the console because as long as the user didn't click inside of the page the sound engine can't start properly and that will cause some errors. So to prevent that we're just going to add a button in here that says play and it's going to have an on click event that will run a function called setup like this. So we're going to say okay on click equals setup. And setup is going to be an async function because all the methods of Wesenboy are actually async methods. So to get started, we will first of all add a little config object here. And that config object is going to contain a lot of stuff that actually isn't all that necessary for you. I'm just going to show it to you. Normally you could also leave this empty if you really didn't want to change any of this. And if you did, then just look at the documentation because yeah, this is so much stuff we can't get into right now. One thing I will change though is the frame rate because this video is running in 30 FPS and yeah, I think having that in sync will probably not uh, make things worse. So now that we are this far already, we can say, okay, await and run the first Wesenboy method, which is wesenboy.config. So configuring our emulator using the config we just created, the Wesenboy options. And we also need a link to a canvas. So as you might know, First of all, let's add null in here. As you might know, in React, if you want to reference something, you use use ref. So const canvas ref equals use ref. And now we can just give our canvas this ref object to make sure that we can always reference it. And now we can just say, okay, the link to our canvas is canvas ref .current. Now let's actually get to the next method already, because as soon as this is done, we can start loading ROMs. So, wesenboy.loadROM. And here we will need the path to our ROM. In this case, this will be phishing.gb, which is actually a game that I wrote myself, so no piracy or whatever here. And to get this, we will use the same way that you would use to import an image. So, import phishing ROM dot slash assets slash phishing.gb. Now let's also add it as a parameter in here as well. But now if you head to your page, you might see that something is broken. Right, right here. Failed to pass source from import analysis because the content contains invalid JS syntax. This is the case because normally if you import something, it's going to assume that it's JavaScript if it isn't like an image file or something. And this .gb file is of course binary for the Game Boy to understand. And the way we're going to fix that now is by actually heading to our module bundler config. So your webpack config, or in this case, a vid config. And you're just going to need to look up how to say um, you want to import something as an asset or as a resource. And in vid, this goes through assets include star star slash star dot gb. This basically means if you import a gb file, don't try to interpret it, just import it as a URL and add it as a reference here. So this phishing um, variable basically just points to this file so that the load ROM method can use it. And now that our ROM is loaded, we basically just need to do one more thing, 
which is wellenboy.play. And now if we just head to our site and maybe add some formatting as well, because I don't like the fact that the button is next to the canvas. That's much nicer already. And now if you just hit play, we should see that our game is starting. And yeah, now you can basically just control it. You click in there once just so that you don't highlight the button. And now you can press start by hitting the enter key. You move using the arrow keys and also press A using X, for example. Now, this game is really simple. You basically just need to catch the fish without um, catching like any bit of trash. And yeah, then you just bring it to the top, press A, and you increase your score. That's not important right now, but yeah, as you can see, a really simple game by game that I've written myself runs. And as far as I know, many other games like Pokemon, for example, will run as well. There might be some graphical issues because this, of course, isn't a fully developed Game Boy emulator, but more of a proof of concept, I guess, or just showing off, hey, I can do something with Warzone. I don't know if the developer continues working on it all that much, but anyway, this would be a way to at least embed a Game Boy game inside of your web page. You could also put some styling over it, like, I don't know, adding a border radius or whatever. Let's do it real quick. And yeah, as you can see, you now have a border radius around this. So I think this is really cool. It really shows you the power of using WebAssembly modules or maybe it even makes you want to create WebAssembly modules yourself. And yeah, let me know if you're gonna use this. I might actually use it for my website because I of course want people to know that I can write Game Boy games. But anyway, I hope you can use this and I hope you're having a good day.